Tonight, we've asked Harriet to tell us something about her own personal movie camera. Yes, it's called the Kodak Medallion 8. I like it because it's easy to carry, it's very good looking, and it's easy to use. Now, I'm no expert, but watch. To load it, you drop in the film and click it shut. See? And it makes wonderful movies. We've taken lots of movies of David and Ricky over the years. It's a movie record of our family, and it's one of the nicest things we own. Right now, with the holiday season coming up... Uh, pardon me, Harriet. Uh, men, buy your wife a medallion aid of her own. It's ideal to borrow for fishing, camping, football. Well, in between, I enjoy my medallion very much. I think you will, too. See the Medallion 8 movie camera at your Kodak dealers. It's only $11 down. And also see the three-lens medallion turret model. They're made by Kodak, so you know they're good. I like it. Wait, you shot that? Your sister shot this? She calls it onions. It's beautiful. And it's just an onion. Put this on our homepage now. People need to see this. The rules of cinema have changed. This is the work of a major artist. I shot the whole thing on an iPhone. I'm gonna make a movie about snap peas. Who's gonna watch a movie about snap peas? Can I have three tickets to onions, please? This was like seeing the onion on a molecular level. This is talent. Why are we not representing it? Now I know the truth. <laughs> 4K on an iPhone. Wake up, people. That's poetry. And the winner is, no surprise here, onions. It is the year 1957. Kodak releases its new commercial for its new handheld movie camera, which can capture any moment in time simply in the palm of your hand. Fast forward to 2016, the new iPhone 6. It is pretty safe to say that every man, woman, and child own one of these phones. It is pretty safe to say anything happens on this earth it'll be captured on an iPhone. So, what happened with the astronauts? We've had the technology since 1957 to have a handheld camera, movie camera to palm of your hand, and no video footage exists of any astronaut going to their spaceship, going to the ISS, traveling into the, uh, the envelope of space by simply holding any kind of camera through the window. Over 50 years of space travel, it's never been done. You see my point. In this day and age, we record every fucking thing known to mankind. No matter what it is, they're going to record it. Okay? It's recorded. But no footage. And there should be terabytes of it. There should be terabytes of footage for the past 50 years traveling through space with some kind of camera in the window going to the ISS using your iPhone, your iPad, or your little 1957 handheld camera in 1968 traveling through space. It doesn't exist. All right? When you get into space traveling to the ISS and you, you re have your iPhone out, say, yeah, I'm the new commander. I've never been to the ISS. Here's my iPhone camera in the window. And my God, we'll be there in a half an hour. Can you see the space station? That's us moving toward the space station. That footage will never exist because this ISS does not exist and it cannot fake it. Do you understand that? And if you have a YouTube channel defending NASA and the ISS, you do not belong on YouTube. You do not have the right to open your mouth and talk about any truth if you don't understand that. You got it? And I think we're done and done. <laughs>